Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Uh, I'm part of the Project Share project group and uh, we have had a little bit of a break recently and a change of lineup. So the Project Share group now is still me, still Verity. Jill and Jez have both uh, decided to take a break and concentrate on some other projects. So um, we now have Victoria of vickyloudesigns.blogspot.com and Jane of craftwithjane.co.uk. So please do check out these blogs and give them a, a follow if you're not already doing so. That said, this is our first um, hop together and to make it nice and easy we went with the theme of anything goes. So I like to make Christmas decorations and I do these every year and normally in the past I have um, painted the uh, wood slices that I used um, and I've done snowmen or penguins most recently. And I thought that this trucking along a stamp set um, would be perfect with the kind of retro truck and the um, little Christmas tree on the back. And there is a um, wishing you a festive Christmas, but it's too long to put on there. So I dug out a different set. The uh, cottage wreath has this lovely cute little Merry Christmas on there. So I've just stamped that underneath there. And then on the back, because I like to do both, um, I went with a big Merry Christmas from Celebrate with Tags. And I used that sideways stamp to uh, stamp more Christmas trees the right way up. Then a little bit of ribbon which looks good from either side. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make another one just to show you how quick and easy they are to do, especially when you're not painting the background. Um, I did try a painted one um, and I thought it just looked a bit washed out, to be honest. So I tried it on um, just the plain wood slice and I got these from Amazon. These ones are between six and seven centimetres but as you can tell they vary quite a lot and what I would say is check how smooth they are so and what shape they are because with this one my truck is not going to fit on that and with this one I did try it but there's a little step there. I don't know if you can see that Hopefully you can. Um, so that bit didn't stamp because it's quite a bit lower down than the top bit. And I hadn't noticed before I started stamping. So learn by my mistakes. Okay, so um, choose your wood slice carefully and make sure that they fit in. So I've gone with basic grey. Just... And I did this a couple of days ago um, because I wanted to see whether the ink lasted um, or whether it just seeped into the wood too much with not having the paint on it. It's perfect. I really do like it. Okay, so we've got our truck stamped there. Now, there is a little stamp that you can ink up and try and line up on there. Oh, life's too short sometimes. <laughs> and I just thought it was quicker and easier to use my basic black stamp and write marker to just colour in the centre of the wheels and those tyres. Okay. My painted ones, I um, stamped that no problem. And then the first time I tried to do one that wasn't painted, I just couldn't get it to line up. 
And then, as I say, I just thought it would be quicker and easier just to colour it in. And it is. <laughs> and these um, Stampin' Right markers, uh, the basic black one you can buy on its own. Um, so I'm not too worried about ruining the tip. I've got another one on order. <laughs> okay, so that's that bit. We need to give it some more detail. So in the tucking along stamp set, you get this bit. Now, the only thing, I like to have them with the bark on the outside, but it does mean that it gets all over the place and it can stick to your stamps. Which wouldn't give a good impression, would it? So, plenty of ink on here. I re-inked my Real Red ink pad quite recently, so it's pretty juicy. I've got my whole stamp covered in ink there. And now I do need to try and line this up. Okay. So... I'm trying to make sure that that little window is in the window bit and that the hubcaps, no, the fenders, whatever you call them, real arches, honestly, <laughs> um, are kind of lined up as well. And then the rest should, in theory, be okay. So I'm just giving that a moment for the ink to transfer and give it a press all the way around okay and there we are gone off a little bit with the head but that's okay so and again because you're talking something natural any kind of lines in there um will affect how it stamps but i actually quite like that you could use your red stamp and write marker and i think i'll just do it along that edge there so that doesn't look quite so bad um to kind of fill in those bits if you wanted to i like this rustic look i think it really suits this vintage truck so let's bring in garden green for our merry christmas and stamp that there and again, depending on the shape of your wood slice, you might have to have your truck a bit further down. You could put your Merry Christmas up the top corner. Totally up to you. And then that tree stamp. So it has a flat line there. So that obviously goes to the truck bed. One like that. Okay. And... Again, if you were doing it on a painted one, you'd kind of have to wait for that um, ink to totally dry. Um, because this isn't sealed, it's it's soaking in quite quickly. So I'm kind of safe to turn that over and go with my big Merry Christmas. think on that and I'm going to do it at a jaunty angle lovely and then let's just stamp more of these trees now I can't stamp the whole thing because it's not all kind of there if you know what I mean but I can do a bit more there oh, a big bit there I'm not bothered about them overlapping. I think I'll do another little one there. Cute. That'll do. That will do. And then it's just a case of adding in some ribbon. 
and this ribbon comes in a pack of real red and uh, garden green which is nice and handy so that one I did the main ribbon in red so this one I'll give it a go with green can I get that no let me just get the pokey thing The stylus from the Simply Scored is my pokey thing of choice at the moment. There we go. So, and that to be a little bit longer. And simply tie a knot in that. further up but it's done now <laughs> and I'm just going to chop that bit that freed while I was poking it through and I did have a lighter here and I'm not putting it in the flame I'm just using the heat in the edge just to try and seal that there we go so it won't free anymore and then another bit of ribbon in the real red this time and can I can do a bit more on this side That'll do, I think. So tying that tight and then just into a bow. There we are. I want to get that loop as flat as I can. There we go. And then I can pull that back out again to make it smaller. And again, depending on your size of your and shape of your wood slice, you might want to have a smaller bow so that you're not obscuring anything or go with a larger one. And again, I'll just are those as I say I really do like that rustic look with the trucking along stamp set I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please do click on my uh, on the description for this video so click more and then probably more again um, and you'll get a link to my blog post and from there you will be able to see what the other lovely projects share ladies have created for our anything goes walk up i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please do click on that subscribe button until the next time take care bye bye